Indeed. Lin versus Sock. Very interesting. Human versus Orc matchup. Where are we at right now? Well, um, as we can see, we, uh, we see Sock going for an Art Mage. Um, could have been also Mountain King, possibly, on Echo Isle and the Murk Camp creep. Um, it, it depends. We see Blade Master, which is Ooh. also not uncommon uh, nowadays. Like, Lin likes to play this on Last of Future a lot. He's going for Blade Master here as well. Um, but yeah, but it's, yeah, Blade Master gets countered by Rifleman a lot, but it's very strong sometimes to like steal creeps, you know, cre steal items to get a good amount of XP by harassing. So we see the Merc Camp attempt here. He will go for the Shadow Priest right away, but the Peon is also trying to come there. So the Blade Master will rush over, I think, and try to steal some creeps here. Very interesting to see a Blade Master. You say it's not too uncommon. Isn't it like Farseer? All the time, I know Scars plays a Blade Master, for example, but in general, it's like a less than 10% pick, I would say. It's, it's true, but I, I, I played against Lot Lin a lot in Ladder, and he played just every time Blade Master, so for me, it was in, in some point not um, uncommon. So he's, oh, we see the Blade Master coming in here, and he will get it. Nice one. So Sok was not expecting it, he could have maybe avoided it. Um, and the item goes to to the uh, the art mage. So everything is okay. The talisman is also fine because a bit more HP on art mage is always great. But now he knows he plays against Blade Master, and it's very uh, interesting to see how is he adapting now to that. Exactly. Uh, Sock got the Shadow Priest right away, not knowing what the enemy hero is. Of course, you want to dispel against wolves. Is the Shadow Priest still good? Oh, is the Shadow Priest still good against the Blade Master just for the healing? Oh my God, this was so close. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, it's good for the healing. I mean, uh, it's better against Farsi for sure because um, you can dispel the wolves, right? But um, I think what you just see here, like the rushing uh, to uh, to the um, Art Mage and he tries to get more damage done. Uh, the Shadow Priest helps you to keep the, the Art Mage alive. And also I think, um, yeah, Sork goes for four farm. It means he tries to go for an expansion, I think. Ooh. All right, Blade Master can of course always kill some peasants here and there, but no summon support, no range attacks. Should make it a little harder to knock this expo down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also, like uh, the Berserker got stolen. Um, also, very cool move by Lin. Um, still, we have a level one Blade Master, and um, I think uh, Lin really wants to get that level two. Uh, and he delays the expansion for quite some time now. I think Sock needs to go for the expansion in the next few seconds because if he's delaying it too much, the Orc is already uh, going for tier two. He gets goes for some headhunters. Might be a double beast theory because the, the expansion is very late. The raiders are very strong against it, or he's just trying to go for raiders and spirit walkers. So it, it will be interesting to see here. Ooh. Shadow hunter, it is. I was uh, flirting a little bit with the idea of like a panda slash fire lord, but no, rather standard. Another steal stolen here by Lin, getting close to level two. And then we'll see if it's critical strike or even mirror image. Big. Creep for Sock. Now he needs this ogre for level two. Gets it done. Little bit of damage, and now Town Hall can start and should start relatively soon. And he goes for Panda. He feels like it's better for instant pressure. He knows the expansion is late, so he feels like the Panda will do some damage. But the Panda is also very all in in my opinion. Like the Shadow Hunter gives him more momentum in the late game, and the Shadow Priest gets. Maybe kill right away. No, he's he's oh he's killed, get, kill, gets killed here. And the panda wants to connect to the peasants. Breath of Fire tries to cancel the town hall. Lin is just doing it very great. Like the Ooh. pressure now. Wow. I mean he gets the town hall, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is pretty perfect by Lin so far. His attacks against human expansions have always been great. And yeah, good to see a switch up here. Seeing the opportunity. Shadow Hunter was queued already, but then he said, Oh, I did a lot of damage. You're not that far advanced as I thought. So just knock it down and then expand on our tier 2 advantage. We get Headhunter and Walkers. Yeah. Uh, and Beastary, right? Uh, so the Raiders, maybe Kodos. Yeah. Um, it will be interesting to see what he will uh, display, but the advantage now on Lin's side, I think he just can keep the pressure going on. But um, also, like, 
going for Panda, as I said, is not the best choice in the late game. So maybe Sok has a shot here still. Uh, he just needs to make sure he's not getting too much eco econ economical uh, damage anymore. Uh, just get the tunnel up and... I mean, look at this art man. She's very, very sad not having level three, right? So that's <laughs> yeah. something you don't want to have in that moment. Yeah, everything is uh, pretty dire for Sock. Usually you want to start teching at like six minutes something. Now the expansion isn't even done at six minutes 30. So somehow she has to rely on the strong human late game with a 70 food army, but ooh, it's gonna be tough to get there. Yeah, I mean, the panda is leveling up now. I think uh, I played against Lin in Lena a lot uh, lately, and what he likes to do is not even to ex counter expand, but just to go for 50 supply, lots of raiders, and the spirit walkers are very strong when you don't have this build. So you can just have so much HP on your units, you can you ca kite a lot. So Sock needs to be careful not to be too, too greedy to go for a decent uh, Sim City. Uh, that means some f uh, farms in front of uh, the town hall and a shop for sure, a blacksmith. And um, it's very important that he's not underestimating the push of them in the next few seconds. Right on. Later on, spellbreakers should counter these walkers hard though. They steal the spirit link and they can't be attacked. Like against bears, you always have value in the walkers because they do so much damage. But against human, they're on a timer, right? Yeah, I mean, the whole strategy actually is on timer. So the problem is with the Panda second um, to have the control, right? The heal wave, the con sustain, sustain what you want to have. Like in the late game, the human can go for Blizzard, you can go for Clap. Normally the heal wave, um, like it, it, it gives you some momentum, but the Panda is like all about uh, destruction, like going for some peasant kills. He might go for a, a kill like soon on the on the expansion of Sock. He wants to go for an expansion, I think. The Pian is coming here, so he's not pushing all over. But uh, it will be interesting to see how he wants to go for the late game because um, when I would see the Panda, I would not be too scared, to be honest. Okay, a little bit of downtime here, a little bit of time to recover for Sock, and he is banking on that late game. In the meantime, we get new subs in. Alps, thank you for the 43 month. Favorite tourney with my favorite streamers. Thank you very much. Skin X, six months. The flip with the gifted sub at Methaman for the 34 month. For the Horde! Well, so far it is looking good for the Horde, but for how long? Yeah, it got to be interesting how Lena's playing this because, um, yeah, I think he's going for the Goblin Shop Creep, means um, level 3 right now. Uh, he got a couple of rings on the Panda, so this guy is very tanky. And he got, got shot control, but you see, the Art Mage has the heal scroll on the invul. So Sweet. this is great played by Sork. Uh, he's not giving the, uh, away the uh, good items on the Goblin Shop. And uh, he's going for the expansion now on the right side. So it might be interesting to see if um, Sork is able to cancel it. Uh, some humans try to do that. He's uh, uh, scouting <gasps> this now. Oh, what a Whoa. nice surround. Wow, Indeed. Oh boy, oh. Raider and Snare, always a threat. Three points to surround at the forest. That's a town portal force. Of course, a loss that you don't necessarily want to take. But in the meantime, he sent a water elemental. And I was wondering, that peon on the right-hand side was standing there for a long time. Maybe he started the Great Hall a little late. He had other priorities with like spikes and other upgrades. But that water elemental is only level one. So is it enough to knock this down? I don't know. I don't know either. I think uh, you just saw how good Raiders are in controlling the mid game, right? You, you're not allowed to go out um, without getting ensnared, surrounded. I mean, this is very uh, scary what Lin is playing here, but it's just now, you know? He needs to do damage. He needs to do, like, yeah. Uh, he needs to make sure he's um, going for the farms, for the peasants to do some damage here because now we see, like, uh, a heal scroll. Wow, that's a good one. And yeah, look at the the uh, units of Lin. Just low. Every <laughs> every unit is low. It's like, what the hell is happening here? I feel like uh, the heal wave is just uh, missing. Exactly. The switch up towards the panda and uh, swapping out the shadow hunter that bites him now. But yeah, spirit link of course working in that a favor. A heal scroll can help a lot. Heal selves are necessary. But yeah, Lin is losing momentum, and despite the first seven minutes that were really, really, really bad uh, for Sock, he's getting momentum. He has 1,200 gold in the bank and a paladin second. 
yeah, Paladin second is very also very common against Blade Master and on one base as well. When you play Rifleman and Priest, sometimes people decide to go for Paladin. He's just like um, yeah, out healing the Blade Master's damage, right? So if he's going for uh, a Rifleman or Spare Breaker, you always can heal uh, your units. You can make sure the Blade Master's not killing one unit after another. Uh, but it's also uh, interesting to see the Pally when he's going for an expansion. And uh, he needs to make sure that the Pally gets a bit XP. But he knows that Lin is just low on HP now, but I think he needs to be careful not to get caught. The Diab Mage is in range. Oh no, Ooh. the instant's coming. That might be a TP forced again. All right, forces are low. Sock was kind of greedy, trying to retrain to Blizzard now, do as much damage as possible before the TP goes off. Blade Master is not really in a position where he can one-shot units, but double heal scroll was an important pickup. Everything is green again, not just because they're orcs and they're green anyway, but HP bars as well. Feels like Sock needs to spend his bank ASAP. Yeah, um, but it's also quite an investment to go for two heal scrolls. It's actually something you need to go for when you have no Shadow Hunter. So uh, the Blade Master still on level two, uh, should arrive on level three in the news uh, next seconds. Um, but the Blizzard, very nice play, and the Paladin is actually out healing uh, the damage on the Art Mage. So if he's going for it, um, trying to crit the art mage, he can just heal with the paladin. But I think as well, Sock needs to be careful not to wait too long to push all uh, out all the units. And now a nice attempt here. Oh, as you can see, the Berserker immediately got healed. So the Blade Master is not really connecting, you know? That's the good thing about Paladin. He can just heal and make sure the Blade Master is not getting the kills he needs to get. Lin is pretty rich as well, 1300 gold, very economically efficient. Oi, 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 these Berserkers not in a perfect spot. Used it as a little bit of a bait, maybe, to keep the caster safe. Good kiting. Raiders try to connect, but Sock is ready for that. Slowly but steady, we might have a little bit of a problem, because mana on the Archmage is low. Yeah, and I think what Lin makes great here is like he's, he's using all the, the advantage he has right now till the end, because he knows um, Sock is now... Um, breaking upkeep and you, as you can see we have 2000 gold on this side that means he's just working with very little uh, but it's very efficient he now needs to go back because he knows oh i went for upgrades i need i uh, stayed on 50 so if i fight for the next few minutes i might lose so he's now retreating he was very greedy by staying on 50 for so long but it's getting rewarded he's going for revival now and um, he tries just to get the perfect army. A double beastery means also more raiders, more Kodos, more everything. So all Lin needs to do is just to creep the map now and make sure he's, um, yeah, not getting his expansion killed. Look at the levels, man. Archmage Blade Master comparison is kind of samey, but this Paladin has zero XP against a level four and a half Panda. Lin is four and a half levels ahead on the second hero. That's just insane. Nothing died. Yeah, I, th I think it, maybe he could have also gone for Alchemist, to be honest, because <laughs> that would be a bit more, I mean, yeah, out countering the pa uh, Panda, because the Panda, this guy has a mana potion. He's on level five soon. 4.6 is a very huge lead in XP, <laughs> and now he's doing what, what he's, came, he's at best at. He's going for the Town Hall, he has Raiders, he's going for the Breath of Fire. So Sock needs to react now, he's not allowed to lose this Town Hall. And Lin is getting richer and richer by attacking this Town Hall. Pillage, of course, research for a long time. Lin's not really getting baited into a position where Blizzard is hurting him too much. The Ensnares are always ready. Spirit Link is also applied. This army is pretty much perfect a little bit of meat with grunts a little bit of damage with headhunters lots of control with raiders wyvern so the units don't block each other and then the walkers of course in the back um i'm having a half uh, a half no a rough time seeing sock succeed but maybe there is an opening now with the creep jack I, I think he needs to kite a lot he needs to use the slow trap as good as possible tries to to force all the mana of the spirit walkers uh, he needs to get level 2, finally! After 15 minutes, he got the level 2 of the Paladin, which is uh, great. Um, I still think, like, the AoE damage he has and uh, the amount of damage and slow, it's still very scary for the Orc player, but the hero levels, man, this is uh, looking very scary. I think um, Sork also needs to go for heal scrolls, maybe shop control as well. Um, but yeah, I, I think it will be interesting to see how the fight will go when they meet on 8080 supply.
Yo, shop control is a little rough, right? Because if you move on, out on the map, human army is relatively slow in general. There's Ensnare against you. You might be caught, but yeah, it, it's a necessity, I feel, against this panda. Lin stole two of them, has a mana potion, has an invo potion to keep the hero safe. Sock has very little to work with. Yeah, that's that's something uh, which is hard to deal with. Uh, and now we see just Lin trying to take advantage, always forcing those TPs. TPs cost 350 gold. Wow, this TP is not the best, I think. Rifleman in front, maybe it works. But the Paladin, maybe use the seal on the Spellbreaker, perfect. I think this is still a very good fight now for Sork. He has so much slow. Uh, still two heal scrolls on Lin's side, so he's rushing now. He knows he's uh, stronger than him. He has uh, quite some good upgrades on his units as well. So those guys, if they meet, um, it's very equal, actually. It really depends on the positioning, the blizzard. And um, yeah, Lin knows this. He's retreating. Um, he's going for two more Boros. So you can tell this guy, he will go for 100. Alrighty, big armies. Try to do a little tech switch, maybe for mortal teams, I guess, to do some damage to the back line, but that workshop being shut down immediately. You called the SimCity very, very early on in the game, and the SimCity looks great for Sork, also with the second Rex, but it also bites him a little bit, because getting that army through that needle hole is not going to be too easy. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a good feeling sometimes getting beaten by your own build order, but it's um, <laughs> it happens and uh, still it's not the worst thing. The workshop is actually for Gyros, so uh, he wants to counter the, the Wyvern. Uh, Mortis maybe as well, but I think it's more um, uh, logical to go for, go for Gyros. He wants to have control. The Gyros always see the Blade Master also, so it's a double effect. He gets the Wyvern down. And um, yeah, as I said, 90 supply. So Lin knows he wants to strike. He wants to go for it. Um, and once he's on 100, we will see a big fight. And maybe Sark needs to decide to go for at least maybe 90. Because um, yeah, 100 supply orc army is scary. Yeah, it's very expensive, of course. But the main is about to expire. He is still rich. And he might you need the supply to lead to against the, the human sim city. Sok is dodging him quite a bit right now and is harassing. We've seen this versus Night Elf as well. A little bit of income, a little bit of damage, but he's not forcing Lin back. What he is doing is maybe constructing a new base at the top. No, he's uh, built, built a farm. Ah, just so a farm. Okay, he, okay, okay. He's, he's just he's so scary that Lin uses his map control to go gotcha. for the third uh, expansion. So he wants to stay in control. He knows I'm I'm not in a, in a struggle to fight right now. He's not as scared of the the army of uh, Lin, but um, Lin knows he needs to fight now. He ne needs to use his uh, advantage and the Wyvern connect to the Gyros and everything is slowed. Man, this uh, fight is great for Sword right now. Here. Ooh, militia as well. Two, two, uh, one heal scroll already used, two still remaining. Blizzard is doing an absurd amount of damage, but Breath of Fire as well against the Militia. Hoi, yoi, yoi. Blade Master down to 50%, has an invo potion ready. Raiders are falling, and Blizzard is the hero of this fight, which is not over yet. Okoto is falling, Breath of Fire to get out, but Lin is bent and bruised. Sok is smashing that fight. Yeah, that's what I mean by Panda. Um, I'm not as scared of a partner than of a Shadow Hunter because the Shadow Hunter can hack sometimes uh, um, the Art Mage. I mean, Ensnare as well works to, to deny Blizzard, right? But uh, as you can see, like he has so much heal. He has Priest, he has pan uh, the Pally. So the Panda as a second hero for Orc is not the best synergy for this kind of unit composition. And that's why Lin tried to find an opening, tried to find a good fight. He was very uh, aggressive, and um, Sork was just like, yeah, you can try that, but I will just build up my army, I will go for some gyros, and I'm not in a position where I need to force the fight. So that was very well played by Sork, not getting um, yeah, too greedy, just playing his um, game here. And as you can see, Paladin level 3 right now, and this is <laughs> also so much mana, Brit is all level 2. Sock knows he's in a good spot and he will attack right now. And the Sobi Mask, of course, on top. Sock back at 80, two attack upgrades. Blade Master already in a bit of trouble thanks to that gyro. Lid with the speed scroll. That is, that has to be his engagement here, but 10 supply less than before. Hero focus, maybe. Where's the heal, though? Blade Master needs healing. Sorcerers are getting caught by raiders, so is the Berserker. Saved, actually, with Holy Light. And this Blade Master, so jealous, would love to get a Holy Light himself. We're 
maneuvering ourselves into a little bit of a choke where it's harder to reach. B Panda almost down. Blade Master also at 50. That Breath of Fire was great, though. Wow. We need to be... <laughs> He needs to be uh, careful right now because the, he, the Panda has a mana potion and the next Breath of Fire will be huge, but that's what Sock knew. He's just retreating. Still a decent fight. I didn't like the position as much. Um, I think um, Sock could have uh, uh, could have dispelled the speed, of, the speed scroll uh, quicker because um, the worst thing you can have is like the Orc army facing everything. Um, but he still managed to kite a bit back try to fight a bit because as i said every tp is 350 gold and if you tp too much it always uh, gives you an disadvantage as well 325 but yeah obviously oh and... i'm sorry I'm old, old, school. I'm old, <laughs> old school old school that's right um, i pay 350 i have a pay three, 350 yeah the, the poor humans they always have to pay a little more um yeah. What these fights also do is to drain heal scrolls, the only source of healing, really, for Lin. And Sok is a bit more aggressive when it comes to shop control, looking for the next one. Lin has lost fights with three heal scrolls already, so it's kind of clear that he needs them. Yes, it's kind of clear also that Lin is in a spot where he feels like he needs to uh, contest the opponent, but the problem is you never want to contest the human in his face, right? The militias are just too strong. Yeah. Um, and that's a problem of Lin's strategy. So he, he wanted to, to end the game with a, one big fight, but Sok knows um, the struggle of Lin. And look at this positioning here. Beautiful. <laughs> and the spellbreak is just in front. I mean, look at this Breath of Fire. It's level three. Yeah. What is it doing? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. You know? nothing. Yeah. Lovely Invis on the Paladin as well, so that's no target. Archmage also far in the back. He got three Invul Potions, because at this point, the best shot that Lin has is maybe crit with the Blade Master and go for hero kills. But oh, just like that, he did the same against Law Lion on Terra stand yesterday. Invul Potion necessary, but Holy Light is always there. He's never running out of mana. Absurd. Just has to be aware and careful of crits and then this might just be his game the kodos can't really connect either because the battlefield is so stacked and there's blizzard over and over again yeah the only problem is the sorks have no mana so the slow is not really working right now um Sork should uh, not to, to fight too long but still it looks great because um he has an advantage by blizzard wow that is sweet blizzard. oh my god this is disgusting man this is just and the panda's just not doing his work, you know? It's it's not that that good. You can see the sustain of the human army is just too big, and that's why you go for Shadowhunter quite, quite some time, and also that's why some people are not going for Blade Master at all, because the Farseer, TC, Chain Wave stuff is just killing the backline. But yeah. if you don't have that, what do you do as an off-player? Now that you mention what do you do, like, in the beta, of Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos, the famous Scotsman said, the human army is better than your army, and Sock just proves this 22 years later. Yeah, and all, all people say like tier 3 is you scary, but look at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it <is laughs> yeah. so strong. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. When I play against orcs and they play Blade Master, uh, they need to, to finish me very early on, and most of the time they do. <laughs> um, but if they're not doing it and they give me too much time, and still Limp is playing great, but I mean, look at this, like the slow trap immediately, Blizzard, oh my god, this oh. Blizzard is so strong. The position is so sick, like, how do you engage if not getting caught by Blizzard? There's so much damage, we're at 23,000 outscaling everything else. Heal scroll is not available. Blade Master already in an invul. Panda, Panda ultimate could be something that helps a ton, but I mean the AOE is just way too crazy. Two more waves and Lin is losing 20 food, but we don't want to see that. Taps out despite a disgusting early game. Sock that finds the win condition and takes map one. Wow, this was so well played by Sock, by both players actually. Uh yeah, I think going for the panda still. Um, you need to keep up the pressure. I think double beastery and killing the town hall and then go for a counter expansion uh, is more the way to go when you go for panda because you need that advantage. If you give the the human player too much time, just build up his army and you could see the Pally was just actually healing the Archmage. It was all he did. It was like, um, that is so smart of Sok not going for Mountain King because it was not about Clap, it was about Blizzard. 
and uh, the spirit link was just actually a trap for them because everything got hurt even more so um yeah well played by by both players but sock just had the upper hand for quite some time in the mid and late game yeah, if you have the heal scrolls, then Spirit Link can always work in your favor because you lose the same, like all units lose the same amount of HP if Spirit Link is applied correctly. And then heal scroll, of course, heals them all up. So you get great value. But if you can't afford or can't get the heal scrolls, then you're in a world of trouble. And that's exactly what hit here. Great game, like great strategical game. Lin with the curveballs going with Blade Master opening. Headhunter, Panda was all a little weird. Uh, great fighting spirit by by Sock, not giving up early and seeing the way back at the execution. Of course, fantastic. What I I want to double down on something you said. Like the Blizzards were the carry in the late game, but Lin didn't shut them down well enough. I feel with the amount of raiders he had. Yeah, I mean it's so rough because actually we'll always hit with two Blizzards. Maybe like you started. First comes, to second comes, then you go for an snare. Then you need to wait. Then he's doing again some two blizzards are enough to do quite some damage. So um yeah, he tried, but um the problem is you need to focus the art mage all the time. You want don't want to go for the art mage, you want to kill the back line, right? You want to get it. So what Sock did is just making Lin decide to go for the art mage all over again because he knew he needs to kill it, but it's not possible because the paladin is just out healing everything so that was very smart by sock not giving lin the opportunity to go for the back line always said like if you want to go for the back line you need to go for my armage as well and this guy will just get healed all over again so i think um the best way for the orc to win against human also in mid and late game is to kill the back line but that was not like the case for lin even with the panda level five <laughs> it was actually not happening yeah, I wonder if we'll see a game like this again because a very unique hero pick and army composition as well. For the rest of the series, I'd say Farseer is more likely and a more normal game is more likely. I would say as well that this would be more efficient. I think Blade Master is great if you go for quite some all any play styles like you want to surprise your opponent he did actually he got the first creep and then i think double beast jerry and some cheesy stuff would have been great um but but yeah i think lin um believed in his strategy but i think he knows now okay i need to go for more meta based strategies farseer tc he's very good at it by the way this guy is so strong and i think we will see in the next game some of this yeah if you're a fan of the horde then uh don't lose hope yet. Lin had a good idea. Sock just had a better one. And we got more subs. Mr. Satoshikon. Thank you for the 15 month. Loktar Ogar. Glory for the, to the Chieftain. Well, not yet, but maybe it works out. Feels like we got a lot of Horde fans in the house. Good luck to you. Wow. Alrighty. Um... Seems like we got a little bit of a break. Sock obviously uh, seems to be a bit sick these days. So a couple of breaks in between games, granted. Uh, you said in our chat not too long ago that you're actually coaching Sock. Did you have a hand in today's play as well? <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. I mean, I'm <laughs> just yelling at him every time. Uh, but I got to really say when I watch this guy play on the POV, I learned so much uh, from him. And uh, it's very interesting because I feel like I do the same mistakes as I, as he's doing, um, losing out match without no, a reason and so on. And this guy, um, yeah, I will never forget this guy punching his keyboard, um, <laughs> losing his happy at this one moment. He was so frustrated. I, I, I wrote to him, like, I was so uh, cheering for him. Uh, he was like, yeah, I smashed my keyboard. And I'm like, I, I saw this, man. I saw your POV. <laughs> um and yeah, I think he's a cool guy. I think maybe sometimes also what we just see now, he's just very good mentally. It's also a, a fun thing to see. Like he's wearing a mask. If maybe he's sick. We don't know. But I mean, this guy is just showing off. It's so great yeah. to see. Also not uh, I mean, he's playing against Blade Mask. He knows what to do. He's not hesitating. I think we will see uh, lots of good games in the next uh, couple of hours. And hopefully we see Sock at Rara Land. That one is coming in the first weekend of August. Tickets go on sale this Saturday. And of course, there's going to be qualifiers. Sock was part of Rara 1. 
Uh, didn't qualify a last time, but I think his chances to qualify this year are pretty damn good. Yeah. And w w how is it uh, um, the chance to have 40? Uh, are the Chinese participating this time? Do you know something Hopefully. about it? Or? Uh, I'm, I'm, I've, I've yet to investigate. Hopefully I need to, to write him. I want to write a 42. I have a good yeah. friend who's uh, uh, talking Chinese, so maybe he can translate. Yeah, and I will tell him uh, he, he needs to come to Rara Land. <laughs> so I, 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 mean, he, I mean, he went to Dubai, right? And what's the big difference between Dortmund and Dubai? It both starts with a D. It has a Warcraft tournament. Uh, we are even nicer, you know. I mean, we will <laughs> give him flowers. We will like <laughs> go on our knees. I mean, he has everything when he's coming to Dortmund. I, I don't know what what is, can be better there. And it's summer this time. It's gonna be good. Oh, be beautiful. What can be better than spending it, uh, a sunny day indoors at 30 degrees? But we have an AC. That's probably a great selling point that we should focus on more. Anyway, what's also great is more games. And our next game is Northern Isles. Um, does the map change from Echo Isles to Northern Isles change much? Uh, yes, definitely. This map is famous for orcs trying to creep the map in front of the human. And the human knows this. Um, I saw Sock playing lots of expansions lately. And I think we'll see him in the expansion as well right now. Maybe switching up. Maybe Rifleman. Maybe I'm wrong. But what we definitely will see here, in my opinion, will be the Farseer. And Lin, I gotta say, I tried some expansion uh, attempts against this guy. And uh, he will expect Sock to do that. So I'm excited to see what Sock will go for here. All right, looks indeed like a classic Farseer Headhunter opening, not even with a grunt. So high pressure with the Farseer first, then even higher pressure with Headhunters later. And Sock has to withstand that pressure. Always a little bit of an issue to get the Archmage to level 2 and to get a clean creeping going when the Farseer is on your heels. What's Sock's go-to creep route? Is he going for the expansion right away or rather later than a Fortitude would do it? Well, we see a tower very early on, which is uncommon. Um, I think he might go for the green first, but no, no, it's got to be in the direct expansion. Okay, so that's why he goes for the tower, maybe. Um, I think he likes to go for a direct expansion attempt, and I think Lin will go straight to that spot. Uh, I think Lin knows what to do, and we will see just in yeah, expansion creeping, uh, maybe an expansion. Um, yeah, he wants to expand as quick as possible, and Lin wants to get some last hits, so this will happen in the uh, next few few minutes. All right, pretty similar to what we've seen yesterday between Sok and Kaho, just different matchup, of course, but similar approach. Hurt the human when he's the weakest, and that is at the beginning of Tier 1, and Lin, with the Wolf Scout, sees it now. Not immediately jumping on the expansion, and so the first Tuska goes to Sok. Nice, and we see six militia, by the way. This is also something he's adapting now. He knows that Lin likes to, to go for some harassing, so six peasants help you for creeping more efficiently. And I think so far it's quite okay for a stock. He didn't lose any peasant yet. This one wolf is chasing, but he might deny it. So one peasant for maybe this expansion attempt is actually quite good oh nice deny in this tower look at this he was expecting this so uh, very nicely done here and he will call the militia again i think and then expand all right solid distraction but also solid leveling of course sock would love to have the brilliance aura running but he was very very conservative with his mana already on map one so he knows when it's time to summon water elementals not going to be spammed at all and this is already a good distraction, I feel, just moving with the Archmage, but he's switching it up. It's a tech. Ooh, nice. I like it. So, little mind games going on here. It's good. Not to being too predictable. And um, what I see Sock playing a lot, because I watched him so many times, um, I know what he wants to do here. He wants to go for some footman, and he's doing that for quite some time. Going for level 3 um, with evasion creeping. And he goes for quite some footmen, uh, and he wants to go for the headhunters. So he goes for defense, as you can see, so he will rush the headhunters. He wants to, yeah, get some advantage with uh, outnumbering the headhunters with footmen, and get level 3, and then go for maybe the Boros, but uh, also the headhunters. All right, 
Melissa can creep in the meantime. Footmen are kind of dragging the headhunters and Farsi around the map without too much risk. Archmage was creeping that spot as well. So there's a lot of progress on Sock. Yeah, 2.7. That's great. Uh, and you see the green Murlocs get, getting creeped by him as well. Maybe he gets uh, level uh, level 3, but I don't think so. Because Lit... No, Lit is going there? No, no, he's not. Okay, so it's level 3. Wow, that's good. And now he has level 3. The Parsi is 1.6. And I think Sok is in a very good spot. Uh, oh, poor peasant. <laughs> Man, poor so, peasant or lucky wolf. Uh, it's always uh, the, the perspective, right? But poor orc base. This is a perfect setup. Level 2 Wartle Mental. He has a lot of mana. He also has the replenishment potion, which was immediately cancelled. Lol. Um, but yeah, terrorizing orc burrows. Spikes are up, but that doesn't help against Wartle Mentals. No. Um, defense is there. Uh, one burrow will fall for sure. Um, that's so hard for the, the orc players sometimes because they need to build a borrow, then they need to wait, they have a supply stack. Wow, one borrow goes down. As I said, the headhunters now look at the footmen, like going for the headhunters right away, try to elim eliminate them. Uh, but you should micro a bit more, maybe now. Yeah, she's, that's great. Now just retreat a bit. So what Sock can do here is can be annoying, right? Go for some headhunters. He did some damage already, right? Like the repairing is costing some resources. Borrow is uh, getting killed already, so um, yeah, he will go now for tier 2, I think. It might be a double sank the Mountain King, but I'm not quite sure. He didn't go for Blacksmith, right? Uh, no, it is a Panda. Seeing an opportunity here with the Headhunters being relatively low. Farseer as well, Breath of Fire hits. He wants to stay more aggressive and try to return the favor or show Lin how a Panda is really played. And seeing this early Chain Lightning shows me that Lin really doesn't want Sock here. Wants to get him out of his base as fast as possible. Still lots of potential for damage. One of the wind use, so Lin is throwing the kitchen sink at Sock to please finally leave him alone. Yeah, he wants to avoid the damage. Wow, nice kill here again. So, um, very old school uh, playstyle. Um, I saw Todd playing this a lot. Um, Panda second, Double Sanctum. Actually, tier 2 expansion sometimes. And um, yeah, I mean, he did some damage. Uh, Panda, not my best choice as well um, on this game here because um, it's very great in doing damage, obviously. The Mountain King is better in controlling the TC, right? The with stun, um, and he's also clap. So the Panda was just good for this uh, push. Um, I'm very excited to see how he will go for the middle lane game. Me too. Panda gets a big mana potion. That is obviously sweet. Raiders getting end snare. Headhunter still pretty hurt. Farseer is getting the levels, and also the TC. Suck again with the classic. <sighs> Suck. Okay. Lag. But man. it's fixed, it's fixed. I told him so many times, man. But to fix his internet finally, right? Yeah, come on, come he's, on. He's in Korea, it should be perfect. <laughs> yes, I mean, oh. these, these guys have like one MS when I play against them. Right? <laughs> when I'm watching them against Lin, it's, it's lagging. But, uh, look at... I would yell at him right now. I mean, you know that. Dude, it seems like you yell a lot recently. Do you have some, do you have some anger issues, Leon? Anger issues. Uh, I, need, if I lose so many times in leather. I need to, you know, True. I need to tunnel, tunnel my aggression to people who don't deserve it. But, I mean, it's his problem being near to me, right? I mean, he is asking for some coaching. What can I do, man? So, he needs to suffer. I'm sorry. Ma that that made him stronger, forged by the yells. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, pretty pretty typical um, for Sock. Unfortunately, always some spikes here and there. Always just him. I don't know what it is, but uh, until the panda came out, I would have given Sock quite the lead. But it's kind of similar to game one, but the other way around. Panda late game might be a problem. Not the biggest fan. It can work. Um, it, it does some damage with Blizzard in combination, but I think like when I play this so many times, like the orcs are just sprinting into my backline, killing everything, and the panda at a certain point, if he's not reaching level six, which is a big ch game changer, but you need to get level six. You know, you need to get so many creep spots and killing units. Um, I don't know. I'm very excited to see what, what uh, Sock will do with this. Um, still, it can work, but uh, it's more on the timer than the Mountain King, for example. Yeah. 
I'm always a big fan of Drunken Haze because of the movement speed reduction, but orcs have speed scrolls against that. Uh, Sork. Whee, I was a little worried that spikes still affect him here. Archmage a little out of position. Nice creep check by Lin. It was supposed to be the lap. Here the panda is still pretty strong, but the question is for how long. Stomp hits him. Surround almost, but is there a way out? Town portal swapped. Panda should be safe. Oh, that was so close, man. Uh, greatly done by Sock um, escaping here. Uh, and what, what's good about the double sanctum play, you have the slow trap, right? So Lin is pushing in, and once he's slow to uh, a lot of uh, units, Lin has a hard time to retreat. He has a TP still, so he can TP out. Uh, Lin tries to go for a power spike. He needs to buy time for expansion. Wow, the TC is very low, and the power C as well. Does he have an... Uh... Ah, okay, he's dead. No problem. Uh, I think it was okay for both sides. Um, yeah, Lin got some time for the expansion, but yeah, the panda, he needs to get level 3 right now. Whew, and everybody needs to heal as well. This fight was pretty shortly after that break. I wonder, does that affect you as a player um, when there was a downtime and then you immediately have to fight afterwards? Or are you just so used to the game that it doesn't affect you really? I would love to say no, but it does for me yeah. uh, sometimes because it's just like my concentration. It's like, I don't know, you're like, someone is asking, hey, do you have time right now? You just have to stand up and while you're playing a strategy, a strategy game, which uh, needs so much um, concentration. And now we yeah. see again, the fight is getting forced by Lin. He knows now is the time to go for some kills. And all he needs to do is like to deny the creeping of Sock because he's going for the expansion. And once he is Sweet. having the expansion, he can just uh, lame him, uh, like go for space and so on. So Lin is so good in getting some time for the expansion and trying to deny Sox momentum here. He's running out of consumables, so he has to step back, go to the shop, can creep at the same time. Why we're not coming? So it is a bit of an issue here right now to continue fighting, but Sock doesn't want to fight either. He got the heal scroll, he got an invo potion, and he got an ivory tower. Yeah, I think he knows if he wants to expand now, it's too late because the orc is already, already having the expansion in the next seconds. So I think he will push right now. He will get some militia behind it, and he tries to have a good fight and maybe to finish the expansion. So this is a great fight right now. Maybe for Sorg, let's see. Um, everything gets slowed. He has some mana still on, on the Sorgs, and there, the militia is coming. The police is coming, finally. Go for the raiders. Wow, oh. lightning shield immediately. Oh my god, it hurts to see. Uh, does he have steel spell? No? Oh, it doesn't look like it. The cow is bringing the cattle prod against the police. Like, love to see it. There's more stomp, there's more murder. Sick AOE by Lin. This TC as a lightning rod is fantastic. Sock needs to get some counter kills and a lot of stuff is heard in the back line, but Panda is being caught, has an invo potion for seven seconds. Raider on his heels, trying to throw a net real quick. Maybe, oh, that was a nice double kill. But how do you save that Panda now? Just by moving him out of it, I guess. Speed scroll by Lin. He's on the chase. Oh gets God. the panda. GG. Lin ties it up. And the panda has a 0% win chance today. That's not how you treat your militia. All right? <laughs> That's not how you treat them. Man, if you send him to death, right? You do it at least with dispel behind it. All right? I mean, lightning shield is the worst thing that can happen to your, to your militia. Because it just dies right away. So, um, yeah. I think, like, the panda... It's so hard to play, um, to get as efficient on that map. Lin, I mean, this guy is holding his position so well. You see, just he got just one borrow, and uh, Sork just invested into Panda. And I think he got one Headhunter. I think this is not what you want. You want to have like at least two tier two buildings cancelled, and then you have like some time. Lin is not able to push, then you get for an expansion. But Lin was just holding very well. I mean, this guy played out of his mind. Yep, the I was really scared for his base when the level three archmage and the footman with defend were knocking on his door, but no production building cancelled, only one one burrow, as you said. This could have been way, way, way worse for him, but uh, nice hold, and from there on out, Lin just took over. Didn't give Sock anything. The creep on the right hand side was denied. Every fight was Lin's fight. And yeah, maybe it's time to put the panda on the bench. Yeah, the panda, I mean, I love him. He's drunk all the time and he's a good guy. 
Um, but for some strategies, it's just, I mean, having like people just, you know, doing their work, not just puking at the opponent's um, <laughs> units, but maybe just <laughs> controlling it more, going for stuns. I mean, we all know the Mountain King. He needs to come. Or right. the Pally. I mean, he did his work against the Blade Master as well. And actually, he was not stuck in his base. So the Pally was actually very nice in, on Echo Isle. And um, yeah, I mean, I think now I don't know what map comes next. Twisted. But I think. Twisted. Ooh. Expansion. For sure. I guess so. so. Uh, I, I'm excited. I'm excited. That would be cool. Whew, yeah, Sox loses pick now. Northern Isles was, of course, Lin's loses pick. Uh, so it's kind of clear that he gets the win there. Good to see Lin just not deterred from game one, where he had the chance to close it out, then kind of fumbled it a little bit. Uh, both in great shape, both bringing A-class Warcraft. Yeah, I mean, this was just so well played. Um, it looks... So weak when you see someone playing just everything right, right? I mean, the panda can work, but Lin is just, I mean, he knew what to do. And um, yeah, those players, um, they're not, you know, not gambling anymore. Now we saw like the panda on Sox side. I think both players know now, okay, we need to play the, the A game, the meta as good as possible. Uh, I think Lin will try. Uh, I, I saw him playing on Twisted Meadows quite a lot. I think he's sometimes going for the Merc camp, get, getting level 3 powers here and tries to push his opponent. Um, let's see how it will go. Um, maybe Sark decides to go for one base, but it's always a risk. Twisted Meadows a big map. You can go for Raiders, you can lame a lot. So if you have having an expansion, you avoid the opponent to lame you, right? A couple of uh, months ago, Mountain King was a possibility here with like tier three play and Griffins. That seems to have faded out, right? Yeah, the problem with Mountain King is um, uh, like what um, Orcs do a lot is going for level three fast here right now. So they have Wolves level two, they destroy Footmen, right? So you cannot really go for good pushes. 40 played it for a couple of times and it's, it's not bad. But the control you get with the uh, with the Arp Mage with with uh, Wattle Mental Level Two is just so good against Orc. You can be annoying. You can go for cancels, you know. And behind this, you can go for a lot of different compositions. You can go for Griffins. You can go for uh, Rifleman and Sparebreakers and so on. So um, yeah, we see maybe a Blade Master. This this um, Barrack on the top right is like he wants to maybe no. Is it Blade Master? No. No. Oh, fast here. Okay, yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Um, because I thought maybe he wants to pull the golem, but no, he doesn't want to. And on the other side, we see the Mountain King. Ooh, I love it. Okay. So, yeah, we see the Merc Camp, I think. Maybe we want to creep the Merc Camp here. Yeah, I've seen a Mountain King creep the lab many, many, many times, and it didn't really matter who did it, whether it's Starbuck or 40 or Sock. This is a very hard camp. Um,. And you will take damage, might even lose a peasant here and there, and then you're exposed to Farsi Harass, which leads to more suffering for peasants. Merc Camp seems to be the better option. Yeah, I think Mountain King with Mercs behind it is uh, very strong, because you can dispose of wolves, you can get some momentum, you can creep the expansion with ease, because, you know, you have a heal, the, the, the orc needs to, to adapt to it. And yeah, let's see if... Oh, he will pull the golem. Okay, so he will do it but with the fast here. Interesting. Okay, wow. I didn't know that works as well. Uh, uh, he's attacking his own rack so the golem doesn't aggro? Yeah, because if he would have attacked the fast here, he would run at the fast here. So if he's Ooh. denying his hits, uh, yeah. This is so works. sweet, dude! I've never seen it done like this. Nice, I love it. Oh, hopefully no denial like Focus is doing. <laughs> that was great. Um, nice Never. aura actually with Run says okay, I think. Yeah, and on, on, on the other side, Goblin Lab. Okay, no Mercs. It's fine as well. Also the aura. Wow. Both players get good auras here. Um, tech immediately by um, Lin. So he wants to have a good tech. Um, and he's creeping the green now. So it's not level 3 quickly. It's just... Yeah, creeping level two maybe, and then rush over. I don't know. Maybe also the Murkham might be. He's, he's not scouting, so Lin doesn't really know what he's facing. I don't know if he's expecting the Mountain King, but um, I think he will try to have some momentum. Yeah, he's going over now, so he wants to go for some peasant kills and for some yeah creep checks. 
Alrighty, Lin shows the way, Sock shows the way, Twisted Meadows, of course, greatest map of all time. Lin in a position where he can strike, he's trying to get some information, Wolves on the bottom left hand side sees, okay, there's no action happening, there's no movement at all, so you gotta be on the right hand side. Gamble going a little bit wrong here for Lin, might lose a couple of seconds, but will he be in time for a creep deck? Don't think so. I don't think so. I, I don't. I think the best thing you can do as an orc player is have a level two and now get the chain lightning on the level five. So a level three is denied. But Mount King is always scary, right? You cannot get too close. So uh, maybe it's the right decision. He's just creeping, and now he's scouting, so he knows that um, Sock is going for an expansion. Level three now. I think it might be yeah, bolt two obviously. Expansion will get up soonish, and yeah, I think Ling is very smart. He wants to deny a direct confrontation that he's not going for, you know, some kills because the Mountain King will just kill three units immediately with the bolt yeah. number two. Yeah, that is certainly going to be a problem. So stall some time, get Chain Lightning 2, whatever, and play your tier two advantage. Then the question is Raiders or even Wyvern or a mix? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, but I think it will be, uh, my opinion, it will be Ra Raiders. Um, because it's very strong on Twisted Meadows. It's a big map, um, but still, if you get the Town Hall, it's such a big advantage for the Orc player. But it might be also just counter expansion. He's going for Lodge, and if he's scary, and just go for TC second. That's what Lin plays a lot lately as well. Just not too scared to go for the late game. So, we will see now. Lin is going for some information. Maybe he's creeping now the Merc Camp. I don't know, it looks like it, right? I guess so, and then maybe a little bit of a push with a... Ah, well, you don't need a Shadow Priest, really, a Berserker. Is it worth it? For creeping, it's kind of nice, but you could also get a Wyvern instead. Kind of fits the same purpose, I think. Or just take the consumable away, and a Wand of Mana stealing is always great. Yeah, the way, like, it's so great to see how Lin is just evading Sock, right? The Sock has no clue where yeah. Lin is. Yeah. He's scouting and trying to find some information. But we see a double beast ray. Now you know what that means, right? You know what that means. That's right. Uh, can you still cancel this when you don't have Archmage and Water Elementals is the question. Is the hammer no. enough to clobber it down? Doesn't seem like it. So yeah, without Archmage, not much to do, but at least he gathered information. Yeah, and now he knows, okay, the <laughs> Farsi is coming at you and he's just running through the headhunters. And this is a, such a good timing. Look at this. The Mountain King is not available here. And that's what Lin wanted. Now he can kill the tower. He can do some pressure. And that's what Lin is so good at. He didn't hesitate. He was like, okay, I creep. As long as your Mountain King is near. And once he's going uh, for the, the base, he knew, okay, now I can attack. Now he's TPing immediately. So Lin knows if he stays too long, he gets so many kills done um, by the Mountain King. So um, yeah, the Mountain King comes back. And he needs to make sure now building some Sim City because you know raiders they like to kill town halls. Oh yeah, yeah. This information gathering by Sock backfired a little bit. If he had that staff a little earlier, I could have seen this to be a good play to like show the Mountain King in Lin's base, then bait him to attack the expansion as Lin did, but then staff out immediately and get a kill on the headhunter or two. But without the staff, this cost a little bit too much time, cost him the tower. And floodgates seem to be open for wolves. Raiders it is, your call perfect as always. And a counter expansion, I'd say. Yeah, so Lin likes to go for level 3 TC. So, I mean, every orc likes to do that, but he just knows like the importance of having level 3 TC it means chain wave, I think, level two. And he will just creep uh, a bit, go for an expansion control everything because you know no art match needs not to be too scared of what the metals canceling his expansion so it's very interesting to see that he's going for this expansion very early on he wouldn't have done it against the art match yeah for sure there's not too much that sock can do about it now he's still working on his tier two still working on fortification and then the question is tier three or not we don't see a blacksmith i think maybe at the expo but i don't remember because i'm old and my Memory doesn't work too well. Uh, mass air with griffins or the big caster army? Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Um, and now it's so smart of Lin just going for its little time. And look at this cancel, man. Beautiful. 
And he still has one Shadal Wave, but it's still level 1. But it's not that as scary as level 2. But Sokka's good, and uh, now go for the Raiders. The Footman has defense, but he's not using it that much, I think. Yeah, he can should have used use it a bit more. Um, wow, was it what a shame wave here again? But he, he used the heal scroll right away. One raider falls. I think this fight is not looking good here for us. He has no defense, right? Whoa, he just taps out. <laughs> that came as quite a surprise this early. My God, Lin. I've I've mentioned this before, like two weeks ago or so. In multiple matchups, uh, Lin seemed to have found a new approach of being rather passive and creep a lot and play very very defensive and then unleash your power with like one strike. And that's exactly what happened here. Great evasion creeping, you called it. Great dodging of the opponent, you called it. And then nothing really came together for Sock. This Mountain King didn't work at all. Nah, the problem was the way he was scouting him, right? He, he was expecting uh, Lin to go for an expansion right away or creeping there because he went with this Mountain King in that direction. So I didn't. I don't like this attempt too much because he never really tried early enough to know where the opponent is. And Lin know, knew this. He was like, okay, I just creep some green here and there. I just go for the Murkham in front of your base. I mean, imagine having a Mountain King there and just, hello, I'm just killing your headhunters. But it didn't happen because Lin was so smart. Just um, He just went for it because he saw the Mountain King. So Sock showed himself. He knew, all right, I'm not in danger and I can do whatever I want. So Lin is so good at uh, knowing what to go for and adapt to his opponent's movements. And that's what you just saw. I mean, the Mountain King was just full mana all the time. I think it was just one bolt, whatever. I, I, it was, like, underwhelming. Yeah, really underwhelming. Lin dictates the pace of the entire game. And now looking at the entire series, I'd say Sock's momentum is, like, shattered. It looked so good after Echo Isles. Oh, boy, he's here to play. But Northern Isles, not much of a chance. Twisted Meadows, disaster. Lin is on match points now, and Sock has to turn the series around. And everything happened because of um, decision making and strategies, right? Um, I didn't like this expansion into tier two too much. It was a bit undecisive. Uh, it kind of worked if your opponent makes mistakes and offers you some headhunters and the borrow and the tier two buildings. But if you play against Lin and you expect him to do a lot of mistakes and those crucial moments, he's so many times so good at avoiding it. And I think he should go back to this little, uh, yeah, more calmly play he had on Echo Isle. Just more going for his ranks, um, not adapting too much to his opponent. Um, I think he should... Uh, Hammerfall is a great map for that right now. Um, might be an expansion attempt here as well. Might be Rifleman, but I think... Uh, I saw Sork playing so many expansions, and I think he should go for it because he's very strong at it. Why is Hammerfall so good for human? You have like two possibilities, right? On the top right, there's an expansion, and on the left, right? So the Orc has no clue sometimes what is he going for directly. He can go for the right side, and he needs to send two wolves um, to other sides, and he will never have the efficiency to arrive with everything, right? So you can gamble a lot. You have like decent creep spots here. The main base is actually also very safe because you have just two entries. It's not like on other maps, th uh, three entries is always bad for the human in his own base when he's going for an expansion. So um, it's a bit like Last Refuge, <clears throat> but it's better because I hate this map sometimes because of the creeps getting accurate all the time. So um, <laughs> this is actually a good map for human. It's just... Uh, a lot of options, the opponent needs to think more, and if you need to th think more, you're not as efficient as on other maps. Right on. We have a Mountain King opening again. I did not expect this. Archmage movement here always seems to be, um, I, I don't want to say, very efficient. So, Sock seems to be of the opinion that, yo, this wasn't a strategical error to go for Mountain King, but an execution error, and I can do better, and now my hammer is going to fall on you. Yeah, I think he believes really in this Mountain King. I think as well it can be very strong. But the thing about Mountain King is you need to put him in the right spot. And he missed uh, in Pussy Meadows everything. 
Uh, now he's just going for a level 3 creep root, in my opinion. He's just going for the orange first, then he will go for the green, and then for the expansion attempt. Um, it's actually very good. If you get a level 3, you have some momentum. And on this map, um, Lin is not able to evade too much, right? It's not as big as uh, Twisted Meadows. Um, but yeah, Sock needs to be careful that he's not getting creep jacked too early, that he's controlling the map. And he might try to go for uh, a surround attempt as well, because Mount King is so beautiful and just stunning and, you know, surrounding us everything. As you can see, level 2 will uh, be able uh, in the next two seconds, and then he might go for Bash again. And Lin is searching for him, so this time Sok is uh, very smart and just going for good creep camps before he's going for his expansion. All right, calm and collected. Lin about to poke a little bit. Here we've seen quite some Zeppelin plays, especially by Lin. I wonder if that's part of the army composition later to drop some Kodos. Always a nice play, but that is obviously like 10 minutes down the road. So a little bit of creeping. Lin doesn't want to jump, as you said, and don't get too close to the Mountain King. Mountain King wants more levels for the level three. Leon is predicting this game perfectly. I have nothing to add, really. Yeah, I mean, we will have like, you see, it's also uncommon to go for the top right. And what you see, Lin is on the uh, uh, wrong position, and that's why we love Hammerfall, all right? So you have to, like, play with the opponent's mind. You see Lin expecting the, the left side. So now, I think, is he pulling it? I don't see what Lin is doing, but he might go for the creeping now, which is smart. So Lin says, okay, I, I guess wrong, but now at least I get the creeps and get maybe level 2.6. I think it's not level 3, but it's close to this. Ooh, sweet, yeah, taking a big chunk of XP away from Sock's part of the map, but also free expansion attempt for now. We can use Chain Lightning now on the top side, of course. Not the greatest of items, even though it's a Cobalt Taskmaster, just some Watch Awards, but that gives you a lot of vision and you can dodge Lin even more. Or catch him if you want to. I hope the Mountain King finally finds this army, man. He's running so many times. He has a marathon already. <laughs> like, give this man some kills. I mean, this is this is what's supposed to happen. But look at Lin. He's so good in evading this guy on those maps, this map as well. I mean, and now the Mountain King is not there. Oh, Imagine man. a bolt now. Oh. Yep. oh my God, this guy, run! Come on! And all that with his small legs. Must be so exhausting. Okay. Again, Mountain King out of position, as you said. Chain Lightning coming in. Tower isn't up yet. Great opportunity to do damage for Lin to delay this expansion further. Peasants are falling. That was number two. That at the top is number three. Left hand side number four. But here's the hammer. Here's the surround. Closing it. No bash. Ooh, that was risky. Gets level three of the peasants. Four of them dead. <laughs> And this expo still takes a while. I mean, imagine, man. Normally, if he, what the mountain king would have be in position, no peasant would fall. It's yeah. so greatly played by Lin. Double B story again. He will do the same thing. Um, it was better than last game for sure. Now he has some Gucci boots here on. And I like it. <laughs> some nice boots to run faster. Uh, finally, man. I mean, he deserves it, man. He ran so long and so much on Twisted Meadows. Now finally, he's going for the York base again. And hopefully he finds some headhunters, kill them. Maybe a cancel a beast story would be great as well. But the building that is cancelled is the shop, so no clarity is available. Leads you to being more conservative on mana and with storm bolts. TC is out. We get two new subs. Thank you. Three more subs, actually. Thank you. Oh, four more subs. Into the Alte Rinde. Thank you for 73 months. Nice to see the German Meister and Wunderkind Leon. Jay Celerex with a gifted sub. Elephant Room with a five month and ra -ah with a 45 month. Good to see the Rara announcement. Hell yeah. Good to see Sock getting a connection onto these headhunters now. Finally, man. Uh, and it's good. It's, it's looking good uh, at the moment. He's going for uh, two headhunters right now, maybe the third one. And um, all <laughs> Sark needs to make sure of is not getting killed too early. He just needs time. That's all he's doing right now. He's killing the third headhunter. Oh, nice deny by Lin, man. Wow, this is such a great play. But uh, it's oh, another bash. Oh, oh. 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 Like Lin. Even man, at genius, it's too genius, man. What is happening here? Even at losing, he's good. 
oh my god, this wolf. I mean, this micro is out of its... Uh, I don't say anything about it. Anymore. It's a great place here. Um, yeah, tier 2 is coming from Sock, Blacksmith, and SimCity, please. Do some three lumber mills in front of your tunnel, because you need them. This guy will come to... Ooh, this footman. And maybe he's golf? He does... Yeah, he has some mm. as well. Ooh, this wolf. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Man, he destroyed Lolliot yesterday, and now it seems like after map one, he's picking up momentum. And it's really, really, really good. Sock is going double Rex, and the blacksmith is up. So a big tier two push seems to be the case, but Lin is again distracting for his counter expansion. Yeah, and um, I mean, this time it's way better than the last game. And we got tier two soon, we got double barracks, so might be a lot of riflemen. I, I see Sock when he's playing with Mountain King more of a, a rifleman attempt because they're very good in surviving against raiders, right? So. Um, yeah, let's see what he's doing on, on tier 2. I think it will be double Sanctum as well. Art match second. And, um, would love to see a good hold here. Um, maybe a cancel on the expansion, but I think this is too far away. So he needs just to hold and get some kills done. Maybe bolts on Raiders would be nice here. Classic Orc gameplay. Chain wave, Raider attacks, shop canceled. Breakers delayed if he wants to go for it. Might... Oh no, okay, it's Lin. I was about to say might lose a Raider for it, but uh, not gonna happen. This one though, should not be saved. It is in a, like, a decent trade, I'd say. Sok wants to rotate his footman out, try to get as many valuable targets as he can, and of course drain mana on the Mountain King. Yeah, I mean still, he has a heal scroll, so even if... Uh yeah, Lim would go for some AoE damage. He has um, a solution for it, but the Mount King. The Mount King needs to be careful. No, no TP. Fine. No TP. No heal potion either. Lin is finding the kill. This might be the way to the winner bracket final. The dwarf, he can't get out. The shop oh. is seconds from finishing. Level up helps him a little bit. Shop is up. Potion, last second. Oh, oh town portal as well. What a sick save by Sock. Needs to get out somehow. Oh, he's baiting Lin into his base with the towers. Archmages here, water elementals. Oh my god, that could have been his winner bracket run, but he's alive. And you know, it was all planned. He did the same, like, he just knew what Lin did to Lorlight, right? And Lorlight and Sok are best friends. So he knew he needed to do the bait as well. So this time, Lin f fell for it. He went for the Mountain King, and obviously, Sok didn't shake at all, man. He was like chill as AF. He went for the shop. I mean, look at this Mountain King. He's. he's just wearing his Gucci Gucci boots here right now, and he's very, very, very happy. Holy moly, man. Clip it. This is going to be in the highlight reels. Mountain King moves out. Sock is getting into a better position. He lost a lot of lumber. Thanks for the power, uh, for the power build on the shop. But yeah, finally things are coming together. Riflemen are coming, as well as casters. Expo is protected. But on the right-hand side, we see a Lin counter expo. But... I don't know if you saw it, but if you look at the upper left, there's the army composition of Sock, and there's a frog. He has a mechanical critter on the right-hand side for a long time, so he knows. Yeah, he knows, and this is a very good spot for Sock now. He plays so well, man. Oh, what a nice run of the Raider. So, actually, this is so rarely to see that Lin goes for this little greedy play, and that Sock really reacted in the best way he could. I mean, this was so great because it's... I mean, that this Mountain King survived just saved him the game and gave him, gave him a big advantage. Yeah. Right now. now, heal potion, heal scroll, all available. Can he reach? He got it with the footman! No way, Sock! Sick last hit! That prevents level 3 on the TC, who still got the item, which is obviously great with the mana potion, but... Level four and a half MK, Archmage is getting brilliant Zora soon, and he knows about the expo thanks to the mechanical critter things are all in place for Sock. Man, Sock is playing so great and it's such an SUV. Oh, this town hall attempt now. Let's see if Lin is able to kill it, but I don't think the damage is enough if, if um, Sock is able to kill the TC maybe or force the TP early. I think Sock can hold this. I mean, the Mountain has no mana anymore. He needs to be careful, come on. Oh yeah, he's holding it. Wow, very well played by Sock. Uh, wow, this is both players are playing out of their mind. They're just trying to outplay their opponents. But this time, Sark is ahead, for sure.
the value footman here taking care of all the peons on top of the hold in the north, forcing a town portal, very expensive place, two raiders down, plus the heal scroll and the TP, super, super duper expensive when Sock has the echo lead as well. He needs to take care of his lumber, but he gets the upgrade as well, so yeah. I, I mean, I am the prophet, so I'm calling game five. You're the prophet, all right, that's cool. That's, yeah, cool that's, that's what they call me. Yeah, okay, okay. I totally nice. did not come up with that nickname myself. Okay, okay, nice prophecy. <laughs> I'm very looking forward because those raiders, they have some, have uh, uh, different things on their mind. They say like, no, 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 I will kill those buildings. I will win for sure. They are very, very efficient in killing buildings for sure. And I think the raiders have trouble going in. Look at this. They are just trying to go for the buildings. But once the expansion is killed, Sark is just TPing right now, and he will TP right into it. Oh my god, what a dominant TP into the Raiders. One Raider's falling, chain wave, but we have a heal squad on Sark's side, and he's just happy, like, connecting to the Raiders. He has so much mana, the Mountain King, now the fold on the Raider. It's such a great play by Sark. Like. Ooh, Rin Lin is losing so much. There's very limited repair at the moment. Lots of end snares as well, but Lin has to TP out. Called the game. What a sick performance by Sock. After struggling a little in the early, once again to find his opponent, Lin played a very, very good start here on Hammerfall. Mountain King was out of position, Expo delayed for a long time. But man, did this guy on the screen right now explode once tier 2 was done. Wow, the prophecy, man. How did you right? know? Right? Tell me, tell me, how did yeah. you know this? It's uh, just I mean, a God's is... gift, man. It's just God's gift to me. I mean, I, I wouldn't have known in this moment. I would be like, oh no, everything can happen. But you'd say like, easy. No, Sokka yeah. will have like, that's great, man. That's good. good. I'm impressed. What, impressed. What's also great is Dave Holder's dono, 10 euros. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder if Twilight Steve is here for the for the highlight clips. That would be dope because that MK save saved Sox tournament run, and this needs to be on social media uh, asap. So hopefully you guys clip that as a community service. I mean, did you see the level up? Without the level up, the Mountain King would have died, right? Yep, yep, yep. It was so yep. calculated, like. The bait and sock. I mean, that was so nice. <laughs> Perfect. All, I mean, I would, all I would sweat all over. I would like be like already like, oh my god, oh no, oh no, oh no. Like the moment where you realize, oh my, my mountain king might fall, right? And you're just like you peasants are sprinting to the shop and building it. Like it was a big drama going on, but like, wow, beautiful moment, very well played by sock. And then Lin committing a little bit too much. The last attempt was a Hail Mary sock, always with the repair at the right time. And this leads us to game five on Tight Hunters. This is one map for a top three finish at WAL March. Yes. And the difference of strategies already, like how many different strategies did we have? We have an expansion with our match on Echo Isle, with Palin second, we had a panda on his on Lin's side, with the panda on Sox side, with a Mountain King on Twisted Meadows. Now, uh, after that, we had a Hammerfall, the Mountain King, um, and now Tight Hunters. Great map um, for a lot. You can go for an expansion here. Riflemen are also very strong, but I think. Um, all the attempts of Riflemen's, uh, Riflemen's strategies against Lin failed a lot lately. So maybe Sok is just uh, going for an expansion with Armage here. But um, yeah, let's see what they decide to do here. Alrighty, the last two encounters between the two both went to Lin. Sok was able to win a best of one before... Ah, a little bit of a lag spike. Alright, shouldn't be too crazy. But of course, if you have... Like a small delay very early on on your build order. It has a ripple effect, it has a little snowball effect, can cost you. So even the early moments have to be precise and we don't want to risk. We want the perfect conditions for our warriors here. Yeah. I mean, this time it's, if you just build your base and you have a spike, I mean, you know, it's better than having a big spike once you want to control your army in a big fight. So it's fine. Uh, Sork just needs to try to give himself some time uh, once he's like unpausing. I think it's very important not just to be too quick, just to okay, concentrate again and go in. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited, man. I mean, we have the best series so far. It's great. 
For sure, man. For sure. The best one-on-one -on -one series of the tournament just yet. Who's your money on? My money. Yep. Who do you think will advance? <clears throat> it's so hard to say, man. Yeah, that's why I'm but asking. I, I say, I say, uh, Sock prevails. He Sock will, prevails. He will just, he will just um, I think Sock, like, calculated everything from first map to the last map. He just wanted to have a big, nice series here. And he's like, mentally, he's now, I got you, bro. All right. All right. And, you uh, might think so. You might what think you so. What do you say? What do you say? You're an orc, orc lover, right? You're I, I'm a, no, player, no, right? no, 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 no. I'm not an orc lover in general, but I'm a Lin lover. And if you think you can take a series off of Lin in the winner bracket on Lin's map pick, then you're a fool. Okay, I remember that kind of insult again. <laughs> and hopefully now a lot of subs are coming in because... Um, <laughs> It, it's worth, you know. It, it, it's working. It's working. People love when you get insulted. You somehow deserved it, apparently. Thank you very much. Yeah. I, I love it. It's great. It's great to see. And we see Archmage Farseer. Great. Isn't it? Finally. The classic. Yeah, yes. it is the first time we see the classic, right? I mean, we had this on Northern Isle, but let's forget about this map. I mean, we True. see the... Oh, lab creep first. You know what I mean, right? That's so greedy. Tower of early on, Lin will rush over, I think, so he's gambling a bit. Like, if Lin is rushing over and gets some peasants killed, it's awful. But um, I think, um, well, let's see how, if, if he's creeping before he's rushing over to the lab. Uh, no, he's rushing over, so <laughs> he needs to be careful, man. I mean, he gets killed the go golem and get the hell out of this camp, yeah. really, because this camp is very awful to be. Uh oh, this is not good. The gamble is not paying off. Lin needs extraordinary last hits. Big one goes to Sock. Okay, but at what cost? Item, Vamp Aura, not that great. Level 2 acquired, though. No f Headhunter backup, and so far, Lin couldn't get a single last hit, and the militia also seemed quite healthy, unlike this footman that's being chased by wolves. That was very. Good play by by Sock here. Um, the, the the aura helps him quite a lot because right he's creeping, Lisha, everything gets some heal back, um, and yeah, I think Sock can be be positive about that outcome. Now he needs to make sure. I think I don't see the fourth farm. Maybe he's tacking, but also he has not that much lumber. So usually, if you go for the the uh, goblin lab, you go for an expansion. All right, a slow start then with a powerful follow-up. Yeah, this um, was pretty much the perfect setup for Lin to do extraordinary damage. I've seen human players tapping out after after a creep jack here. But not here, not Sock, and he is indeed tacking. All right, all right. I, I said nothing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the same like on Northern Isle, right? As it feels like. Um, but I like it more with a, a rifle man behind it. So, um, we see Sock trying to evade creeping a bit, tries to get maybe level 3. Lin still on level 1, and uh, Orcs like to, I mean, to try to harass the human a bit, so, so he's not able to creep, and then once they have crucial numbers of headhunters, they try to creep the big camps and get level 3 as quick as possible. Whew. Alrighty. Lin needs to play some catch-up. Sock is probably gonna go into Lin's base to cause some trouble there. Farsi a little bit of extra damage afterwards, or outside of that, the inventory is pretty empty. But Lin maneuvers already in a more defensive position. He knows something's brewing. Yeah, and that's so uh, smart again. It's like the same on other nights, but you see, the blacksmith is coming, the defense goblin is coming. He's achieving level three, and this time. Lin had, had, has not the best best items uh, to, to, you know, avoid the damage. He had, like, the uh, wind of... Uh, I think the wind of... Uh, ah, I don't know. What, wind of the wind? I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, this one. <laughs> and now he's, like, on level two. It's not the best one to defend um, and to kill the footman here. So um, now he's gone for the headhunts. I like this much more, and the aura helps him a bit. But the, he needs to be careful more with the with the arm edge. He's low already. And he did do as much damage as I would have wished to see it. Yeah, there was pretty much nothing. Headhunters are a little bit bruised, but of course they're selves against it. Buru is still standing. TC is coming. And he didn't even build the tier 2 buildings yet. So, like, 
In a way, tier two buildings were delayed due to the presence of automated water elemental footmen, but not the, by that much, and it didn't cost anything. And if you go in again, you're being caught by four. Who, if he's getting blocked, TP. there's a TP immediately. Chain lightning. Whoa. So close. Oh my god, my heart. Oh my god. Those moments, man. Oh, look at those footmen. Please, please. Try to save everything. I mean, at least he got big um, uh, heal going on here. That's great. Oh, man, my heart. Um, yeah, so I think it was not the best commitment, but he also didn't lose too much, right? So it's okay, I think. He has a level 3 art mage. He goes for Rifle and Mountain King. And um, yeah, I think he will try to um, cancel the tier 2 expansion attempt of um, Lin because the orcs like to go for um, expansion on tier 2. So they have good momentum later on. Rifleman, Priest, Mountain King composition is not good in controlling the map too much. Yeah. The orc has the aura, he can run everywhere, so I think this will be the play of, of uh, Lin. And speaking of plays of Lin, great Farseer movement. Sock just used the scroll of regen because all the footies were hurt, but the Farseer was there. Chuk, chuk, chuk. Now healing is cancelled and the wolves are in the main in the, at the same time. Sock is preventing 40 food, uh, or the, the 50 food burrow, so eventually he gets the success in Lin's base. This is pretty annoying, but it's also a lot of time for the TC to creep. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is he has a level 3 art match, so he's able to do that. Um, the Mount King can creep now behind it, so it's just, yeah, I mean, forcing Lin to come back a bit, or at least uses his resources in repairing, and he, has, he's, he killed the burrow, so it's actually a bit of uh, value he gets here. And then Mountain King is creeping, and he's doing great in uh, avoiding the footman to get killed. Oh, the <laughs> Bye bye. But uh, still, very well played by Sok here. And he needs to be careful with the arm mage now here. Oh, it's so good that the caster curse is, is hitting you as well. <laughs> Just when you said it, a peasant died. Oh, I love to see it. Mountain King with Wand of Mana stealing. Always one of the best items, I feel, when we have a Mountain King versus TC dynamic. Sok is trying to buy as much time as humanly possible. But on the other side, Lin again with a big mana potion. We've seen this before. And that's going to be a lot of storms. Yeah, and um, the good thing about Sock's pushes is that he avoided the um, T2 expansion, right? Normally, yeah. the orc goes for an expansion right away. So Lin is not able to do that. But the items on the TC are scary. Oh my god, this is like... This TC, look at this smile on his face. <laughs> like having a big heal, a big mana. I mean, this... This guy has a blast right now. Oh, yeah. His eyes are glowing in anticipation. It will be incredibly tough for Sock to overcome this. Level 2 Wolves, not Chain Lightning. Needs to be hit by the spell. Of course, level 2 Stomp when there's no breakers. This is very, very, very tough by Sock. He's not ready yet. He got clapped level 2 and a Mana Potion himself, plus the Wand of Mana Stealing. But it does, does it even out the items on the TC? I don't think so. Yeah, and the problem is, um, what I would have loved to see is a bold level 2, because um, I don't go for clap level 2 if I see his scroll. The heal scroll is actually just um, Smart. out, out, out um, playing this clap, right? Smart. So, um, yeah, I think it might be a problem here. But still, clap is very good if you have like a mana potion and mana, one of mana stealing. It will be interesting to see how many claps he can go for uh, here. And he should go for the heal scroll himself, because um, the AoE damage on the orc side is uh, great as well. But nice little run by with the footman here. Yeah, I like it. Cool move. Okay. Lin is not too deterred since the wolves and the grunt, and then it should be fine. But we have a fight. Observer, man, please switch. There we go. Here comes the clap. Also the first one of mana stealing charge used. Doesn't lead to any kills, though. And we put our toes in the water, see if there's a bloodshed coming. Oh yeah, Sock wants to clap away, TC being controlled a lot. Militia are coming, we have a fight. Yeah, that's interesting. No heal scroll on Sock's side, so he needs to be careful not to stay too long if the damage is coming in. My god, the front line is very low, but also the Orc army. Wow, stop coming in. Militia is falling, but that's okay, actually, for the human. As long as the Rifleman can do damage here. The first grunt is falling. Maybe another clap. Oh, beautiful. But here, yes, you can see the heal squad. Already 
countering the clap and no mana. Ah, he has a heal, uh, mana potion. Nice little bolt. Um, and the he big heal is already used by the TC, so he has just one in one. The priest is falling. Sock needs to be careful. Oh, the nice little stomp on the back line of Sock. It needs to be careful not to overcommit here. But once, yeah, it's good. Like the Raider, the Kodos should die here right now. Wow, what a fight by Lin and Sock. Sock has no TP, he can't get out. Oh, TC forced by his Stormbolt long range. TC dodges it. So, this is an interesting situation here. Lin lost a lot of consumables. The big healing gone, big mana gone, heal scroll, invul, it's all gone. Also, a couple of units. In the meantime, Sock was doing some damage to the economy, but we will lose more. And he lost pretty much his entire army on lesser consumable cost, I would say. So how fast can he recover? Because supply-wise, Lin is far ahead now. Yeah, the problem is, um, I think the heal scroll on, on Lin's side was so crucial. Imagine yeah. Sock would have gone for it. It would be a big advantage. Not having the heal scroll was a big problem here. And I think... I mean, still, he has a Mountain King, he can do some work here. Uh, he has uh, one his scroll now. Uh, nice little bolt, but this is, I mean, not looking that strong yet. Um, the, the aura level 2 on the, on the TC let's just make it uh, happening that he's escaping all the time with the speed scroll as well. Um, yeah, the supply is not looking good for yeah, Sock, and Lin has 50 and uh, also more resources than Sock, right? So. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to say, but uh, I think Lin is ahead here. We gotta say that Sock lost a lot of peasants, so in army supply, the next 50 food army that he builds might be more efficient, while Lin still has the peons, of course. So sorcerers are coming in, more rifles are coming in. Only one upgrade, he got the heal scroll invo potion. Shop control, important. Next time these guys meet, the TC can't dodge the bolts anymore. There's still a consumable here at the red spot. Lin sees it. Sock didn't gobble it up after Lin portaled home because he was too hurt. But instead... Oh no, he can't get anything at the shop anymore. He gotta contest this. Like, he can't allow this big consumable to go to Lin. No, he needs to go there fast. As quick as possible. But it will go to Lin. And what is it? Oh, big book of death. The worst ad he could have found here. Wow. Yeah, that is underwhelming. A little bit of XP left for Sock. That's level 4. And he pulls the Archmage away. That's also level 4 on the Mountain King. And while level 4 is most of the time not too impactful, for the Mountain King it absolutely is. Level 2 Stormbolt's huge weapon. Yeah. Oh, Invis TC, man. This is scary. Um, so, yeah, that's a very good play now by Lin. He wants to, to connect to the whole army. And in, in best case, Sok knows this. He should be aware of the TCs missing once he's seeing the Orc army. I would um, recognize it if I see an Orc army without TC. And I'm like, oh my god, this TC is right in my army already, maybe. Uh, so he can maybe dispel already. So the TC is getting uncovered. But meanwhile, he's creeping here and gets 4.5 on the farce here. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. Is there a heal scroll left in the Goblin Shop? No, I think no. Ah. TC just got one. You can see the, the cooldown below the clock. Ah, so there, okay. Takes yeah, a, yeah. Of course, the Chinese overlay has that ready. Like, uh, oh, no I brainer. Mean, come on, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we go into the main. No income for Sock at the moment. Slin seemingly getting closer and closer to the winner bracket final. And once again, he's going for the base. Sock has to react. Yeah, and this is hard position right now. Um, the lightning shield on the TC um, and the TC block here. TPing immediately is very smart. He doesn't want to overcommit. You see the tower on, on Lin's side. Um, he will just try to get the expansion up. And the good thing about um, yeah, chain lightning and storm, he can always invade into the human's army. And look at the resources, right? He will just stay on 50 yeah. and be annoying. We'll kill maybe here and there some units and then get a big, big army. Sock still with chances, though. Water Elementals are poking and gathering information constantly. The tower is very, very bruised. There's a little bit of experience left. That's the red spot. And Lin doesn't contest this. With rifles, this should be fine. But yeah, you, you can see that Sock feels like he's getting creepjacked any second. Just throw everything onto the granite, and then it's good. Uh, a little bit more of intelligence and agility for the dwarf. Probably not what he was hoping for, but he's getting closer to level 5. 
Yeah, that might be the last chance for Sock in my opinion. Like we see his uh, supply lead on Lin's side. Uh, now he is crawled uh, on Lin's side as well, which is great for him to, you know, out heal the claps. And yeah, he's just like building up a bit here. He's not in a rush. And so Sock scouts this and but he also sees, okay, there's no expansion coming, so I'm not forced into a weird, you know, um, play here. I don't need to run there and cancel it or force a fight now. So I think he might creep the Goblin Lab to get level 5 on Mountain King, and then we will see, the, I think, probably the last fight. 500 gold still to invest. What's the ending? A bunch. Two heal scrolls on Lin's side. Shop is restocked. Oh, devotion or a fantastic item for Lin at the lab. And can he find a way? Yo, we get level 5 on the TC. Oh, that's so big. Oh, man. And the Mountain King is not level 5. This yep. is... Uh... Yep, 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 yep. That's rough. Oh, Sock, you need a fight of a lifetime to overcome Lin here. Yeah. This is... This is hard. This is hard. Um... Hopefully, um, I think the last chance is really to have a huge clap um, into the army and uh, some finishes early on and forces the heal scrolls very early on. Then it's last chance for Sock. But as you can see, he stays on 50. And I don't think the overlay shows for sure the amount, uh, amount of gold. Yeah, there. Yeah, it's still a lot of gold in it. So as long as Lin has no expansion, Sock will just stay at his base and say, it's like, all right. I have no rush here. I just get more and more gold. But now we see the expansion and this is now... The time is ticking. Yeah, way too important of a match to risk anything here right now. It could... Oh, we don't have... Oh, we do have invisibility. So yeah, he's scouting with water elementals. He can send in invisible units over and over. Shouldn't give up on shop control. Both have two of the heal scrolls. This next fight... This is the calm before the storm. There will be a big fight coming in probably like three minutes or so yeah and then that's yeah. what it's all about yes i think so too so um yeah i mean lin is doing everything right i mean he's sending some level three wolves into actually yeah to the army of sock which maybe gives us level five yeah he sees level five still so maybe it's not the smartest move but yeah the, ah invis mountain king here he sees the TC, maybe he gets some items. Uh, there's nothing, nothing left, okay, so. Um, yeah, I think Sock needs to, just to push up the, the army and the last fight will happen in the next minute. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that was of course big. You don't want to reveal yourself with the Invis Mountain King. You might just immediately be dead. Sock is getting level five with Clap and Bash and Bold. So for some reason the TC didn't get that. And Sock just decided, okay, now I got level 5, that's all I need. Sweet dodge, though. What a dodge. I mean, even dodging with peons. What, what's, what's coming next, man? <laughs> it's going to be great. Well played. Um, yeah, I mean, now level 5. Um, well, yeah, what do you do? Uh, there's a tower. The positioning for Lim will be always better because now Sock is forced to push. But this army is also great, in my opinion, of Sock. But um, yeah, supply-wise, they're even... Um, yeah, three heal squads on Lin's side, two heal squads on Sock's side. I would love to see Blizzard, to be honest. Um, he as a last rules. chance. Uh, come on, sell something. Yeah, the Hood of Cunning, I wonder if it's that impactful. But okay, he only has the gold for another heal scroll. Heal scrolls tied. Invul Potion lead on Sock and supply lead on Lin and the expo running. You have to strike now. There's of course fortification. The invis play doesn't work due to the ward. And this is what this winner bracket semi-final is all about. One fight for glory. Oh my god, this is huge here. Uh, wow. Needs to be careful kite a bit more. So many rifles. A nice little kite here. And first bolt goes on the TC. He wants to control the TC, not connecting to the rifleman. The ensnare on the art match immediately. Invuln as well on the art match. We see the, the dispel going on here. Maybe first heal scroll get used now. Perfect heal scroll. Wow, the mountain team is doing so much damage. TC is very low though. He needs to oh! use the invuln. The art match. Oh my god, the art match. Invuln, invuln. Oh, TP. Okay, but wow, how many units he killed. That oh. was huge. I suck. 
Wow, what a sick stomp that was as well. Relatively even trade, but it was two heal scrolls gone for Sock. And of course, Lin is mining the entire time, only on one base, so it's kinda even actually. But now it's a lot about heal scrolls. Lin with that advantage. Can you get some sort of shop control? There was a lot of mana drained, so Lin needs clarities ASAP. Well, of course, the human has the brilliance aura running. Oh man, it's so tough to call. It's so hard, uh, uh, rough to call. Um, but we have the profit on our side, so. <laughs> there you go. Ah, you Whoa. know, I would love to tell you, but that would spoil the event for the viewers, so I'm holding back this time. Okay, okay. Well, if you say so, I mean, that would be interesting to know, but okay. Um, yeah, I mean, supply wise, Lin is in the lead, but this Mountain King, man, he's. he's Oh, nice dust. Oh! Nice touch. What is happening right now here, man? God, you that info very potion. well done here. Oh that my god, nice clap. Love the AoE. It's a thunderstorm in Sock's army once again. Can he get rid of that radar? It's a lot of damage. Mountain King, 50%. No more heal scroll for the human. Well, two on the horde side. This Mountain King also running out of mana soon. We have a stomp once again. Lightning shield, chain lightning, all that damage thrown into Sock's army. It's all down to the dwarf. Otherwise, Sock has to tap out and finds himself in the lower bracket. Grunts are eating the breakers. Mountain King waiting for the perfect moment for the potion drop drops everything. Here's another clap, but he's running out of juice. He's running out of spell power. Uh, but Lin, oh, if there's another clap, he might lose three units here. There is. Sick tug of war, but the 20 supply lead is still there. And Sock sees his MK will fall, and so does he. War Chief of the Horde advances to the winner bracket final. Wow, GG, man. So well played. I think Blizzard would have been awesome. I don't know why he didn't go for it. Um... But still, I mean, those claps were huge. And uh, the way he was yeah, playing the game actually was very good in my opinion. But this one fight, man, he had no heal scroll. I think once he saw the heal scroll on Lin's side, he should have maybe avoided this kind of fight or at least wait for his heal scroll because heal scrolls are so important. You have like two heroes having so much AOE damage. If you have no heal, He's just able to, you know, out heal you with his heal scroll, and then he's just stomping everything, and um, then he has a, a huge supply lead. But both players, and I, I love the game. It was very well played. Yeah, I don't think Sock lost the series here on this map, rather on. Uh, wait, what was the map again? Rather on Northern Isles or Twisted. Especially Twisted didn't come together at all, so this was a little bit of an issue there, for sure. But in general, once again, a great performance. I hope he can recover a little bit uh, from his flu or whatever he got and then come back strong through the lower bracket. Because from what I've seen so far, he is at the moment the strongest player in the lower bracket alongside Colorful Fly, Lolliet, and Kaho.